The sleep lab was a dream, pun intended, that I have had for many years. My interest is in how the mind works. All right, now let's do the circumference. I became very interested in sleep itself, and particularly how sleep loss affects performance. All right, well, let's measure from um, CZ to here, and we'll find that midpoint. So the convergence of the interest in sleep and sleep loss and how that affects college students in particular, and how the mind works more generally across sleeping and waking, led me to want to set up a sleep lab at Santa Clara. This is part of the siesta system. It's where we plug in the electrodes in the back. Put a little bit on there. To have a sleep lab where it's almost entirely run, I mean, under my supervision, certainly, by undergraduates from beginning to end, that is unusual. Okay, excellent. It's pretty awesome to be able to, to, be able to do it. All right, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Um, I'm gonna first have you fill out some questionnaires okay. before bed and um, I'm gonna plug you in and we'll get you started. Cool. They're doing pretty much everything once they're trained. The first few times I stayed up for two or three hours just watching the brainwaves after the participants did it, fell asleep. But I have students who have taken on a very significant degree of responsibility. Very rapid eye movement, very low muscle tension, very fast brainwave activity. My primary interest is in the skills you have in waking, mental skills. Do we have the same mental skills in sleep? Because brainwaves are now becoming very large, very slow, and very synchronized. And it's great fun. It's just great fun.